Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, we are gonna solve this problem. Let's see the problem statement and we'll dive directly into the solution. And if you are wondering that what this problem is related to, it's actually related to the, actually the atomic radiuses, the theoretical densities of metallic structures. Let's see what the statement is saying. Iron undergoes an allotropic transformation at 9, 12 degrees Celsius upon heating from a BCC to an FCC structure. So here the temperature is not important that will not be used but this uh, thing that it is changing from BCC structure to FCC structure is important. So let's see what happens next. Accompanying this transformation is a change in the atomic radius of ferrous from RBCC equals 0.125 nanometer to RFCC which is this. And in addition, a change in density. So they are saying that upon this transformation of crystal structure, there is a change in atomic radius of ferrous. And they have shared that what this change is. And then they have told us that there is a change in density as well. Obviously, because volume is changing, hence density will also change. Let's compute the percentage volume change associated with this reaction does the volume increase or decrease so that is what we need to calculate in this problem it's the percentage volume change by what percentage the volume is changing and that is what we need to calculate and we also need to know that whether the volume will increase or decrease when iron changes from bcc to fcc let's write down the data first and we are given with radius of ferrous atom when it's in bcc form so that is 0 0.12584 nanometer and we can write it as 0 0.12584 multiplied 10 to the power minus 9 meter next we have our fcc radius of ferrous atom when it's in fcc form so our fcc equals 0 0.12894 nanometer 0 0.12894 10 multiplied 10 to the power minus 9 meter okay nice units so next since we are interested in the volumes of the cubic structures and their comparison like the percentage change so first we'll write down the general formula for the volume of cubic structures because bcc and fcc both of them are cubic but the arrangements of atom are different so we'll incorporate them but we need to first mention the formula for the cubic structures we know that the volume of cubic unit cell is given by unit cell is given by v equals a cube this is the general formula and this formula is true for all kinds of cubic structures whether they are simple cubic bcc or fcc so this is equation number one next for bcc What we are going to do here that for BCC, we can see here that the radiuses are given, not the lattice parameter. So we need to express the lattice parameter in terms of radius. So for BCC, we know that the relationship between A, which is the lattice parameter and radius is actually 4 by under root 3 into capital R. Since it's BCC, so we'll mention BCC here to have a differentiation. So A equals 4 by under root 3 into RBCC okay this is the relationship between the lattice parameter and the atomic radius and we can put it into equation number one in order to get the volume of BCC unit cell put in equation one so we have VBCC hence equals to 4 by under root 3 RBCC whole cube okay we can write it as 4 cube divided by under root 3 whole cube RBCC whole cube okay it's 64 divided by 3 under root 3 r bcc whole cube okay that is v bcc i'm gonna call it as equation number two now let's write this same formula for fcc so for fcc we have this relation a equals 2 under root 2 capital r and since it's fcc so we'll write r fcc this is the relationship between the lattice parameter and atomic radius in case of let in case of sorry fcc so put in one in order to get the volume for the fcc unit cell and it's gonna be v fcc equals a cube so it's under root 2 under root 2 r fcc whole cube and it's 2 cube under root 2 cube 
and R F C C whole cube. Okay, two cube is eight, and it's actually two under root two. R F C C whole cube sixteen under root two. R F C C whole cube. This is the volume of ferrous. Oh, sorry, <laughs> F C C uh, structure in general. Let me call it as equation number three. Now we are interested in calculating the percentage volume change. Percentage volume change. Let's calculate it. We know that the percentage volume change is given by volume change is given by. You can write percentage volume change like percentage delta V that is equals to the previous. You know volume which is V B C C because ferrous is changing from B C C to F C C so B C C is previous structure so previous minus final which is V F C C divided by previous. Okay, we are comparing it what it was before like what the volume was before so we are just finding out the fraction and since it's percentage so we will be multiplying it by hundred. Okay, now we can simplify it. Further, like VBCC is divided by this term and this term as well. We can separate the division sign just to make it simpler. Okay, we have just written this thing in the denominator of both of these quantities, and this cancels out, and it's one left here. So one minus VFCC by VBCC multiply by hundred. Okay. That is how we can calculate the percentage volume change. Let me call it as equation number four. First, what we are gonna do is to calculate VFCC and VBCC, and we'll put that value right into this equation to get the percentage volume change. And this ratio will also help us to know that whether the volume will increase or decrease. So this is the most important thing. Let's calculate this fraction. Since we know the VFCC and VBCC as well, let's do that. This is the ratio that we need to calculate, and we have VFCC to be equal to 16 and equal to R FCC whole cube divided by VBCC, which was 64 by 3 and equal to 3. Okay, by 3 and equal to 3 R BCC cube. Okay, so these in the denominator will go there. Okay. So you can write them together, the radices, and it's 3 under root 3 here because denominator of denominator becomes the numerator. So it's 64 in the denominator. Now we have 16 fours are okay. Under root 2 by 4 multiply 3 under root 3. These are all numeric numbers, and we have R F C C cube divided by R B C C cube. Okay. We can simplify these things further like it's 3 under root 3 by 2 under root 2. Our FCC, you don't need to do that. You have calculators, you can use it and you can quickly see what they equals to. Like you can get a decimal number. We are going to put the values of our FCC and our BCC here. So putting values. Since we know these values, it's 3 under root 3 by 2 under root 2 R F C C. R F C C is actually uh, 0 0.12894 multiplied 10 to the power 9 minus 9 divided by R B C C, which is 0 0.12584 multiplied 10 to the power minus 9. Alright, so these two cancels out. It's a cube over them. So let me see what they are equals to in calculator and I'll get back to you people. It's 1.976. Okay, this is uh, what the ratio is equals to. And we can see that the ratio that we have got is greater than 1. Okay, whenever the ratio between two quantities is greater than 1, it means the numerator is bigger. Okay, and whenever the ratio is less than 1, like if it's 0 0.1, 0 0.5, something like 0. Point something, which is actually a value less than 1, so the numerator is smaller as compared to denominator. That is how we can judge it. And we can see here that the ratio is greater than 1. Since the ratio is greater than 1, 
द रेशो वी एफ सी सी बाई वी बी सी सी वी बी सी सी इज ग्रेटर दैन वन ग्रेटर दैन वन विच शोज दैट न्यूमरेटर विच इज न्यूमरेटर विच इज वी एफ सी सी इज ग्रेटर दैन वी बी सी सी एंड वी कैन सी दैट वी एफ सी सी इज एक्चुअली द फाइनल फॉर्म दैट द फैरस इज टेकिंग एंड हैंस वी कैन सी दैट द वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग सिंस द वॉल्यूम वॉज वी बी सी सी बिफोर एंड इट हैज चेंज टू वी एफ सी सी एंड वी कैन सी वी एफ सी सी इज ग्रेटर दैन वी बी सी सी सो द वॉल्यूम हैज इंक्रीज इन द रिएक्शन हैंस द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फेरस स्ट्रक्चर ओके वट एवर क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर हैज इंक्रीज इन द प्रोसेस इंक्रीज इन द प्रोसेस इट हैज एफ सी सी क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर ऑब्वियसली यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग दैट वट काइंड ऑफ मैड पर्सन शी इज लाइक शी डोंट नो वट दट द क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर इज हैज इंक्रीज इन द रिएक्शन एंड लेट्स पुट दैट वैल्यू राइट बैक इन टू इक्वेजन नंबर फोर टू सी वट इज द परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम चेंज सो पुटिंग इन टू नाउ putting into equation number 4 to find out the percentage volume change the percentage delta v equals 1 minus um v fcc by v bcc multiplied by 100 that is 1 minus 1.976 multiplied by 100 okay and keep that in mind that we always take the absolute values which means the positive values so whether it's positive or negative that doesn't matter we always take the positive values to see the percentage volume change okay it's always absolute values so we are going to calculate 1 minus 1.976 on calculator and we'll multiply that result with 100 to get the percentage let me do that it's 97.62% okay we got this result we'll write percent with it because it's percentage and that is this is the percentage volume change volume change in ferrous or you can say iron's structure all right and that is it for this video i hope you got it like share and subscribe and let me know if you can't find any problem i have made a separate playlist where i have included all of the problems from callister book If you can't find any that you are looking for let me know I'll upload it or will point it for you so take care and goodbye